today we're gonna be copying the Meryl Twins' Instagram. So we've been seeing tons of YouTubers copy other people's Instagrams and we thought it'd be super cool to copy someone and when we were thinking who to copy, first of all on our Instagram we asked you guys who we should copy and 99% of the comments said the Merrill Twins and second of all, we get mistaken a lot for the Merrill Twins. We don't even look the same but I feel like it's just like the dark hair. Yeah, and so we're both like Asian or they're part Asian. So yeah, we decided to choose them to copy. But before we get on with the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel down below if you haven't already to become a Kalyan All-Star and hit the bell to be notified when we post a new video. And if you haven't yet, definitely give our Instagram a follow. Our Instagram is Kalyan Twins. We post tons of cool pictures and behind the scenes on our Instagram stories. So comment down below if you've followed us and we'll be liking your comments. So let's get on with the video. So disclaimer, all the pictures we chose were indoors because currently in Canada it's like minus 5 or like around five, minus 5 to minus 10 degrees Celsius outside and they aren't wearing jackets in most of their pictures and there's snow on the ground so it would be hard to like manipulate the background so we thought choosing pictures indoors would be the best idea. So the picture we chose first is of Vanessa and she's in front of a white wall and she's flash photography I'm pretty sure on an iPhone camera and she's just wearing all black with a choker and her hair is curled and she had hoop earrings. Okay, I look really gothic right now, Tim. Look at my under eyes. Because the picture that we're trying to recreate, I feel like Vanessa has like eyeliner. Okay, you can't see it. But she has like eyeliner on the bottom of her eyes or like eyeshadow. And I don't know, it just doesn't suit me. But I have to do it for the picture. So we're going to take on this wall and see what it looks like. So... Time to see the picture and compare them. Are you guys I ready? I don't know if you guys are gonna be impressed or like disappointed <laughs> by this, but like, like watching the videos, like you think it's easy to copy yeah. people's Instagrams. It's like the complete opposite. It's so hard to get like the angles are like the hardest thing ever, just to get the right angle that the other person's doing. Yeah, and but even that, like you have to edit it after to get the lighting and everything like that. But, but this one wasn't too hard compared to everything else. So we did. we're gonna give you guys our rating and let us know how we did in the description box. So um, here's the picture. Thing. <laughs> we showed our den, he thought it was Vanessa, yeah. like from afar. Okay, so obviously Vanessa and I don't look the same, yeah. but I think style-wise and like how we positioned our clothing and ourselves in the picture, I think we did pretty well. You got like the earrings down, you got the tank top, the choker. It's like, if I covered like the facial features, it'd be a pretty good match. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really proud. Background's a bit different, but it was still yeah, good. Yeah, background's different. I have to borrow my dad's sweater for this because I didn't really have if, a black slip up. If you like cross your eyes and you hold it, then you can like kind of tell. It looks like, well, cross your eyes and look at it. It looks pretty much alike. Yeah. I give this like a 9 out of 10. Really? Yeah. Okay, I was going to say 8, but I'm, I'm like, why? Okay, I'll give it I'll give it a 9. 1 is like for the background being different. Yeah. But, like, but overall, pretty I good. think it's pretty I'm good. I'm impressed with that. This next picture is of Nessa again. Polaroid and we thought this would be pretty easy to duplicate because it's a Polaroid. Yeah, I was scared though because I'm like if you don't get this right We're gonna like waste all we had film. two films left. We have another pack but I'm like I don't want to go through all of our film just like for this one picture Thankfully, they didn't take that many tries. So let's see how we did. So we found a red hat here at G Machine It was the last one and it was only five dollars. So it's kind of maroon, but I think we can like color correct it with a photo editing app yeah so it's good so since Vanessa used a Polaroid picture for this shot we have a Polaroid camera hopefully Samantha doesn't make too many mistakes because she's gonna waste all of our film on this picture so I got on my yellow beanie and then she has like really big hoop earrings which I have and this is the sweater she was talking about that Madeline was talking about that we don't really have one like hers but I guess this white sweater will do there's Madeline with a Polaroid Okay, are you guys ready to see the picture? Here it is! Okay, I wouldn't say it's perfect. She had to like color in the hat um, on an app because yeah. it wasn't exactly red, but the hat is red in person. It's maroon in person. Oh, it's maroon? We didn't get oh. a, a red, red okay. hat. But on the when we took it through the polar camera, it looked black, so we had to like fix the color a bit. If you can't tell, yeah, I colored it. And on the sweater, like I didn't have a sweater with cats on it. Then I thought of printing off cats and just sticking on. But then I thought it wouldn't like go well. 
So I just took any white sweater I had with like print on the chest, which I think is fine. We have the same hair as them, like really long dark yeah, hair. But I think their hair is like a bit more brown. But yeah, but on the on the Polaroid it looks pretty good. I told her that I should have done it because yeah, I haven't should have done it. But like I totally slipped my mind. But I, okay, let's rate it. Let's rate it. Okay, rating it. Okay, okay. I give it like okay a six and a half. No, no, a seven. No, a seven. Yeah, I'll I give, give it a seven. seven. Just because it's not exactly the same, but I think they're pretty similar. Yeah, we could have made like better choices. It's, it's um, hard to like compare the two when we don't, don't really look at them. So next we have a picture of Ronnie and we only have one picture of Ronnie because we're looking through her feet and most of them are like either done by like a professional photographer which would be hard to duplicate or they're And they look outside. beautiful by the way like the ones where she's flying in flowers and stuff but that would be too difficult so Vanessa had a lot of indoor shots that were more like from the iPhone if you want to say so yeah. those were easier to copy but this one is a Ronnie. So here we have she's wearing an eggy long sleeve sweater. I think it's a men's long sleeve shirt and she's just standing with a bun and like framing pieces looks pretty simple so let's see how we did so i got my hair like hers and i'm wearing like a super oversized long sleeve but it's not the eggy one because we don't have eggy so samantha's gonna i'll give you a pan down pan of her outfit so there's her bun we should straighten those pieces by the way or you can just look them straight i guess so then we have her oversized shirt we might have to edit it on. Yeah, I'll try and edit the eggy letters onto the sleeve, but we'll see what we can do. And that's basically it. It's pretty simple. So here's how we did. This, I was really impressed. When I was taking your picture, it was so hard to get you to pose. You were so stiff. Honestly, she's like, turn your neck. I'm like, I can't. It's like her turning my neck. Yeah, but the finished product after editing it. Okay, if you can't tell, I kind of edited the eggy onto the sleeve. Yes, because we, we don't have an eggy shirt, so we went to H and M, and then we bought like a plain long sleeve. Yeah. So and then she just like photoshopped the eggy on the sleeve. It's pretty obvious, but it's the best I could do. It kind of looks. Similar. The angles are like really, really good. And the hair. And the hair. I think we did a pretty good job on that. I'd give that like a 9.5 out of 10. Actually, you know what? I can give this a 10. Really? Next yeah. is this picture of Nessa, and this one has like a filter over it. Not really sure what filter she used, but she has like two buttons on the side, a pink bandana, and a pink shirt. I wanted a copy because it was like super cute. It's it just cute. so cute. So here's how we got the picture of Nessa. For our next look, I have the pink bandana that Nessa had, but it's not the one with the pattern. We couldn't find a pink one at the mall, but this is pretty similar to it. This is actually a pajama shirt, but I just want it for the collar part because Nessa is wearing a baby pink t-shirt, so that's what it is. And I'm wearing a choker too. I'm not sure if it's the same color. I think hers is silver, but um, this gold one will have to do. Okay, so for this shirt, we had a shirt like that, yeah. as you, you, saw, you probably saw in the clips, the headband was kind of similar, it wasn't yeah. exactly the same. We got the buttons, but the thing is, like, I didn't know what filter she used on the picture, that was so the hardest part. I had to, like, get a filter from, like, an app and then just use that to take the picture. Honestly, I think this is the worst one we did out of the five, yeah. but I think it's because we couldn't find the right filter, and when I tried using, like, the regular camera to take the picture on the iPhone, it just didn't look the same. I'm like, yeah. what? But in general, posing for the picture wasn't that hard at yeah, all. Yeah, because she was like sleeping. She's like, I was actually just staging me when I was taking the picture. I'm like, ah, I'm tired. <laughs> but my mouth hurt from smiling. But it was a pretty easy picture to duplicate. I'd give this like a two, <laughs> a three. A okay, three. I'm not that bad. I give, okay, I'm a four. I'll give four it a five. I'll give it a five out of Because um, the outfit was right, but yeah. the overall look. But the of it was angle was good too, wasn't it? Yeah, but I don't know. It, it just, didn't look the same. It didn't look the same, yeah. So our last picture is of Nessa sitting on a bed wearing glasses with a cute stuffed animal. And this was a little trickier to recreate. We're looking for the socks that Nessa was wearing, and we found they don't have the same animal. But they're, they're pink, so I think yeah. that would count. But I think hers were like longer. Do you think? Oh, we have rabbit. Okay, Those I think more like this will be more. Oh, wait, the flowers, the flowers. Look. Do you think? But it was more of like a an animal. animal. But I think like the shape and everything. So we're looking for a brown rim. Oh, these are brown. These are kind of like hers. Oh my God, those look kind of like hers. Or, no, 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 like, like these this. ones. 
Like this? No, I th feel like... Okay, let's see if everything else. Um, I think maybe this, is the this is the closest. They have these, but these are two cat eye like. That is close. That's close enough. It's close enough. I can't see. Oh, be quiet. There's no grade on those. Here's the picture. Okay, first thought we didn't have the same stuffed animal. And we so, didn't have a stuffed animal. So we were gonna use our dog, but then we realized that would be hard. So we took one of his toys, which was like a chicken, but we <laughs> turned it around because the front part had like yellow and red and it wouldn't match. But I think the socks, oh my god, oh. we went to, as you can see, we went to Forever 21 and we're like, ah! They have like similar socks. Yeah, so there's carrots on them. But I mean, overall, they're pretty yeah. similar. We, we got lucky with those socks. The sweatpants I already had from before. The a shirt. shirt you had already. Luckily, because I totally forgot we had that shirt. She reminded me yeah. we had a teal shirt. And the glasses, those were the closest things we could find at the mall. They were the so. last ones there. Yeah. So we were so lucky to get okay. those. It was hard because obviously they don't have the same body shapes. So obviously the picture didn't look exactly the same, yeah. but I think if you're trying to do it like as similar as you can, I yeah. think we did a pretty good job on it. Maybe we could have done better of the lighting. I think the lighting could have been better. But, okay. but like, I think we did pretty good just for, I don't know. I think we did good. We did, we were on point on the outfit though. The outfit, yeah. the prop, yeah. the outfit. It was yeah. good. I'd give us like a seven out of 10. I was gonna say seven as well. Yeah. Cause there'd be some area improvements, but we did really good in like the overall picture I feel. Yeah. That's it for the video. Let us know down below in the comments what you guys thought of this video and how we did on the pictures. We really want to know your guys' feedback. Yes. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, we also have a second channel which we put vlogs on it. It's called Callan Twins Vlogs and it just hit 40,000 subscribers. Did you know that? No. <laughs> she didn't know it hit 40,000 subscribers yesterday. We're gonna start posting more vlogs as school kind of dies down, we get less busy, but we do have a lot of vlogs up on there already if you guys wanna get caught up. So subscribe by clicking the link down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. If you wanna see last week's video, just click over here. And if you wanna subscribe to our channel, just click right over here. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! Bye.